geeks welcome to another video so today we will be discussing about the evolutionary forces that are involved in speciation and there are majorly two types of forces involved that is natural selection and genetic drift let us view each of this so we all know about natural selection there are different alleles out of which the one that is advantageous or the one that produ produces or gives the recipient an advantage or increase its reproductive fitness is selected and is passed down to each generation that is natural selection so forms of organism in a population that are adapted best to an environment increase in number over a over many generations now this particular selection can be of three types positive selection negative selection and balanced selection now what is positive selection such selection increases the fitness and therefore its frequency would increase in the population negative selection it decreases the fitness and hence it is negatively selected balancing selection operates when there's no change in the environment and hence being heterozygous is the advantage let me give you an example in the industrial melanism example we had the black moth and the white moth now the trait for the black moth proved to increase the fitness after industrial melanism so it was an it is an example of positive selection its frequency would increase in the population whereas the negatively selected trait was the white color because that gave it away to the predators so these are the two types of natural selection okay and that's the example of it now let us see what a genetic drift is so they are basically random changes in allele frequency as a result of chance okay from one generation to other generation for example there were 10 10 alleles for black and five alleles for white in the next generation randomly this number became 7 and 3 okay so there was a change in the allele frequency which happened randomly in a finite population this is called as a genetic drift now genetic drift causes something called as a fixation of alleles okay so now what does this mean now if the allele frequency increases and reaches to 1 that particular allele gets fixed in a population okay and the process of genetic drift stops however if the frequency of the allele goes to 0 that means there is no more allele correct if you had black and white 10 of black and 8 of white slowly 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 the frequency of one of them becomes one okay totally all are black that means the black is a fixed allele and now the drift stops and for the white one it became to zero right so the white is lost altogether that is the meaning of genetic drift now natural selection operates non randomly as we discussed those that provide an advantage are selected so it's a non random process whereas your drift the definition itself says a random change so it is operating randomly now natural selection is directional that is it guides the evolution in a particular direction and which direction is that the one that would increase its survival next genetic drift it's non directional and just happens by chance the natural selection favors those alleles whose phenotypic effect increase survival whereas genetic drift acts upon the genotypic features within a population irrespective of what phenotypic effect they have now genetic drift has some impacts and mainly there are two effects that you need to know one is the bottleneck effect and second the founder effect you will be asked many questions on this if you are attempting any competitive exam so do pay attention to this segment let's go on to bottleneck effect so when a population drastically reduces to a very small number over a very short period of time 
what we get to see is a bottleneck effect. Now, why would a population just drop down to a small number? Definitely because of some disasters or some hunting, some habitat destruction. So when a larger number of population gets smaller and smaller in size over a short period of time due to some disaster or habitat destruction, the bottleneck effect comes into picture. Now, the bottleneck effect leads to decrease in the genetic diversity, obviously, because you're losing on to many alleles. The loss of alleles would lead to higher genetic drift, okay, because you have to make up for it. And therefore, due to this, the different, a different new population altogether arises, which doesn't actually resemble the original one. Let us see. Imagine this example where you have a bottle filled with different color balls. You have white, yellow and blue. So these are your alleles. Now, because of the bottleneck effect, a few of them could survive. So suppose there was a natural disaster and only the blue and white populations could survive. So here, what has happened? It, it's a drift, right? You have lost your yellow population altogether. So allele for yellow is lost. There is a decrease in the genetic diversity. Now the surviving population would grow in size over time and will reproduce. Can I just eventually predict that most probably you're going to have a large number of blue in the main population and very few species having the white allele. So in comparison to your original population, the surviving population is going to be way different. This is called as the bottleneck effect. Okay. Next up is founder effect. So in a founder effect, new population would develop from start, starting with a few members. Okay, so let's take an example. For suppose the earth is too crowded right now and there's no place to inhabit it, more people. So what some people will do maybe, if we are very advanced in that field, some of the people would go to Mars. So Mars is a total different setup, total different planet. So those that are going from Earth to Mars will be called as the founder members because they are going to reproduce and occupy that. Now, this is the best example of the founder. Now, what happens because of the founder effect is there is a decrease in the genetic variation because obviously the people going from Earth to Mars won't have all the properties that the people have over here. Only a few types of alleles would get selected and go there and that would be propagated further. Now, how different would the population on Mars be as compared to Earth would depend upon how many members have gone, more the number of founders, more would be the diversity you would see. There is a real high example right here, the African population of Dutch settlers in South Africa. So few of the Dutch people came from South Africa to uh, the, um, oh, sorry, few people came from, the Dutch people came to South Africa. So they basically found a new population altogether, which has the genetic variations or the alleles of both these populations. And uh, there is another example wherein the Huntington's uh, disease was more in this population because these Dutch people carried that trait more. Okay, so that's it about the different types and the two effects. I hope you understood something new from this video. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.